time. Thank you. Our second speaker, Jamal Scott. The biggest fear. The biggest fear, Jamal Scott. Everybody has a fear. Some may be high. Some may be sputters. Some may be small as little rats. But my biggest fear is something that we all go through, that every person goes through every once in their life. Tell me, tell me what that is. What does everybody, everybody fears once in their life? Speaking. Dating. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's part of it. My biggest fear, I can't believe I'm saying this, is rejection. And rejection led me to the point where I did not have no confidence in one point in time in my life. I could not, ever since elementary school, I could not get in front of people without a piece of paper in my hand. But the real kicker was, I remember this time, down in seventh grade, this new girl came into school at Southside Fundamental Middle School. Walked out the lunchroom, I fell backwards into the asphalt. <laughs> <laughs> she was gorgeous. And, hey, I had class with her, in course. In middle school, I was not as afraid to talk to people as I was much further on in my life, especially in high school. I got shot down so many times, I cannot even tell you. But I managed to have a girlfriend. She was willing. She was patient. She was kind. She was quiet. I had the best year and a half with her in my life. Me and her, I went to her prom. She went to my graduation. We actually had our first kiss at her prom. <laughs> <laughs> Beyond, it didn't go beyond <laughs> than just a kiss, believe me. You can't even ask her that. But after that year and a half, we both live in different cities. She lived in Clearwater, I lived in St. Pete. Three years ago, we mutually broke up because we both had dreams of going to college. She wanted to go to New York and be a model. And she was going to go at SPC Clearwater. I was going to SPC St. Pete, so we didn't get that much time together. Since then, I've been kind of like the shy guy, except when I'm at work, where I have to talk to people. But throughout my experience trying to talk to people, I always got a little shaken up, a little bit tongue-tied sometimes, but not now. Ever since I joined Toastmasters, they, you guys have been regaining my confidence each and every single day. You wouldn't even know each and every single minute I've been here. I've been getting much more confident and confident and great talks from people that was then bought my own club that told me to regain that confidence. But sometimes I still feel like that shy little guy whenever a beautiful woman walks by. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm kind of like this shy guy that just looks at her don't really step up and talk to her. That's when the rejection comes in. I have a fear of rejection. I have a fear of rejection. My dad, I didn't, uh, in my, for most important years, I didn't have my dad to help me. My dad was shot dead six years ago at a motorcycle accident. I'm not at a motorcycle accident. He was at a New Year's Eve party at a motorcycle club. Skyway Motorcycle Club. My sister was there. My sister was there to see my dad's last breath. And my dad called me on the phone that day. Said, Jamal, I will be back. Ever since that day, my confidence shot down so fast you wouldn't even believe it turned as quickly as a hurricane. But then, I had a beacon of hope. I joined the National New Lights Association, no, National New Lights Association, no, no, National New Lights Incentive to Excel and Succeed, those are called New Lights, which I was the vice president of for a short while. And I was at school, 
Believe me, you think I was a geek? <laughs> I went to school. I played basketball. Not that good. Not that good. But check this out. I cut that last rebound in our first game and we won that game. Then again, I went to school. I drive harder than I ever driven before. And guess what? Guess what was my final report card said? Valid Victorian. 3.74 GPA. Mm -hmm. Then I went on to go to SBC for a semester. Then after that, I went to P Tech, Clearwater, where I stayed there four months, got my degree in criminal, you know, customer service while using computers. Using them with Excel, Microsoft Word, Access, PowerPoint. But still, it's just that fear of rejection. What do I get rejected out of it? Plus, I was on the job hunt. I got rejected job after job after job. Let me tell you, from top to bottom, I was not that good. I lived all the way from Quill, from Pepper Springs, down to St. Pete. It was a doormat. But then, I got a job at Sweet Bang which I'm pretty proud of. I work up front. I work with a lot of people. I have fun at my job. But I also bring my cousins and stuff. And one more thing. I want to thank each and every single one of you for helping me build up my confidence. Thank you, Mr. Thomas.